soldiers deserve the highest respect. Opinions aside, they go into areas where many of us will never tread, and are willing to make the ultimate sacrifice. In recent years, those soldiers have come forward with some interesting stories, and have detailed mysterious encounters while on duty. One soldier detailed that they encountered something strange, and said it wasn't just them who witnessed it. The soldier titled their post as Strange Encounter while on duty, saying the following, I was a young sergeant in 2001 stationed at Maelstrom Air Force Base. I would often guard equipment, and it's known that the area is highly sensitive. Most of the time I was on guard nothing interesting would happen, and the job would be repetitive. That all changed though when I had a mysterious encounter. At the time there were two of us who were on patrol, and it was my partner who first noticed something strange. In the distance he claimed he could see a red light, and that every so often it would pulsate. We were located near the outskirts of the base, and so thought that it may have been an aircraft in the distance. Around ten minutes later though, both of us witnessed the bright light descending nearby. I turned to him and asked whether he'd seen these lights before, and he said no. So naturally we were both suspicious of what this was. We couldn't make out any insignia or any propulsion system. This thing didn't match a jet or a drone. The aircraft would rise again to around a hundred feet in the air, and once the object was within our sight we got a much better look. It was like a huge ball of energy, and it was like a mini sun. As the encounter continued though we started to notice a pattern. The object would fly around the base, descend and then fly into the air again, and it kept doing this over and over. While it was doing this, it was making no sound, and it was hard for us to keep track of it, because once it descended, we would lose sight of it, and we'd only see it once we caught a visual. After this, it darted towards us, and must have stopped within 40 feet, at which point we were able to see some closer details. This thing was a perfect sphere, and moved around at extreme speeds but the strangest thing was that it moved in an angular way. Like if you were playing an old computer game and you had to draw out lines and then the object would follow those lines. It's hard to describe, but the movement wasn't fluid. It wasn't like a plane that had to turn slowly in order to maneuver, or a balloon that gets taken by the wind. Every time this object moved, it was always in angles. Although the movements of this thing were jarring, the speeds it was hitting were incredible, and if you blinked it would be in a completely different place. It was like the light would turn off and then reappear in another part of the sky again. After around 10 minutes the object just vanished, and we were no longer able to see it. It made me think as well that had my partner not pointed out the strange light in the first place, then it's likely that I wouldn't have noticed it, especially because it made no noise. Our commander, Chief Sergeant, pulled me in for a conversation after catching wind of what we encountered, and honestly, it didn't go the way I thought it would. I was thinking I'd be put down, and told that I didn't see anything of interest, but instead those in the room were interested by the sighting, asking for details and even going as far as asking where the craft was seen. When I asked what this thing was though and whether anyone else had seen it, I got very little back but was told at the end that it might be best if I kept this to myself. Although nothing super eventful happened, I never got closure on what this was, and still to this day think about how that strange light was able to hit the speeds it did. Another soldier said the following, When I deployed to Afghanistan I had a mysterious encounter with something that I couldn't explain. One night we were set on a ridge overlooking some buildings. It was early in the morning and so we had to use night vision. As we were scanning the area, one of my buddies saw something in the distance, with his exact words being look at the size of this one. We all locked on to what he was talking about, and around 200 feet from us was this huge being. 
we guessed that this person was at least seven foot tall, much taller than anyone else in the area. This thing then turned back to look at us, and its eyes were so bright that it actually caused physical pain, like I was looking directly into the sun. The eyes were burnt red, but the rest of its body was cold. As it caught sight of us, it then darted into one of the nearby buildings, and we didn't see it for the rest of the night. It messed us all up because we all saw this thing, and couldn't come to a conclusion about what it was, and how it was able to give off this super bright light through its eyes. Oddly enough, we heard stories of people summoning creatures in order to protect their villages. They called them jinns, and the locals in the region took them very seriously. After I got talking to some friends when I got back, they told me they saw something similar and described a shadowy figure with burning red eyes. When they used that description, it sent chills down my spine and instantly reminded me of the encounter I had. I didn't tell them what I had seen, so they would have no idea that I had an encounter with a large humanoid with burning red eyes. The only thing I asked them was did they have a strange encounter while on duty. They went on to describe that the creature shut up cold on their thermal, and estimated they were easily over seven feet tall. I'm still not sure what it was that I encountered, but it was nice talking to someone that had encountered something similar. There have been many reported sightings of massive legendary creatures that have been described as looking like a large humanoid. They're mostly sighted in remote areas, sometimes in urban areas, and very rarely in city parks. But the most unlikely place you would think to see one of these creatures is near a military base. Yet some researchers have argued that there's been more reports sighted by military personnel than civilians. Throughout the years, there have been a few reports that have been leaked from military installations, mostly those around the 1970s. By far the most notable and most credible is that of an encounter near Fort Lewis in the US. This is an army military installation in Washington State, which is in the middle of a rather large wooded area. The year was 1978. A truck full of soldiers coming back from training exercises broke down at around 8pm. Attempts were made to restart the engine, but nothing worked. So the platoon headed off to the base on foot to bring back a tow truck. They left one Edwin Godoy to guard the truck until the tow truck arrived. He was left because he was the one who signed out the truck. Edwin spent hours by himself just sitting in the truck. He was bored but this evening would soon perk up. At around midnight he began to hear strange sounds from the forest that this road cut through. The sounds continued to get louder and closer, prompting Edwin to get out of the truck arming himself with a rifle and a flashlight. As he stood in front of the truck, sweeping the sides of the woods with his flashlight, he caught a glimpse of a large object moving directly in front of the truck. It was a tall, broad creature entirely covered in hair that walked by swinging its body sideways. When Erwin shined his light at it, it stopped and stared directly at him. They locked eyes for a short time before the creature began to run at him at extreme speeds. Owen shouted three times for the creature to stop and identify itself. However, the beast didn't reply, and got close enough to cause harm to Edwin. Grit with fear, he shot the creature in the chest. This barely stopped the speed of the animal. It merely growled, grabbed its chest and turned to the right and went back into the forest. In a few seconds, it was gone. After a long and fearful night, the mechanics finally arrived. After Edwin conveyed what happened, they were quite skeptical until one spotted the blood trail that led to a massive footprint. Shortly after, a radio call was made to the base explaining what had happened. The area was swamped by secretive government scientists and hazardous material suits. These researchers then began taking blood samples and setting cars of footprints. The whole time Edwin was told not to speak to anyone, and was kept away from what was going on. After a short time, 
Edwin was quickly taken away to the base hospital. But surprisingly, instead of being examined by the base's medical staff, he was examined by a doctor from the Air Force that held the rank of four colonel. Years later, Edwin went on to reveal in an interview after the event had been declassified, that rather than interrogating him, the colonel was very interested in every slight detail of the event. After which Edwin was returned to his barracks, and told in no circumstances was he to tell anyone what happened. Another soldier detailed their encounter with a mysterious creature. They said the following. My encounter didn't happen while I was on duty, but it did happen while I was in the military. At the time, I was hiking through Michigan when I encountered something big. I was taking photographs of some wildlife when something caught my attention. I could hear sticks breaking behind me, and so tried to catch a glimpse of whatever it was. Through the tree line, I could see this huge hairy creature trying to hide itself behind the foliage, and I knew that it was trying to hide because as I was moving my head in order to get a better look, it too was moving its head out of my line of view. As my eyes adjusted, I could see this wasn't a black bear, but was definitely something more human-like. Its shoulders were super wide, and it reminded me of a gorilla but much larger. I was looking into the eyes of something that was there, and I was genuinely terrified. I didn't turn my back on it and just slowly made my way out of there, and as soon as I got somewhat close to the trail I ran back all the way to my car. I've never felt so much adrenaline pump through my body, and I wasn't even sure if I was going to make it out of there. Sadly though, the people I tell this story to don't believe me, and it's led to me wishing that the encounter never happened. As incredible as it was, it's hard to convince people that you encountered a giant hairy humanoid. Regardless, I know what I saw, and it's something I'll never forget. So what do you make of these interesting encounters? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.